Based on the glowing reviews of Tidying Up with Marie Kondo from fans and critics alike, it's safe to say that 2019 is going to be the year of KonMari. Here's what you need to know about the woman responsible for sparking joy across the globe. In a 2019 interview, Marie Kondo revealed that she's been obsessed with tidying since she was a child. Her mother can certainly vouch for that, telling CBS Sunday Morning that she once came home from vacation to find Kondo had done away with two-thirds of her wardrobe. By age 15, Kondo had devoted much of her free time to tidying. But according to the tidying expert, her urge to organize took a toll on her mental health. The author revealed that constantly searching for items to discard became so overwhelming that she once passed out leading her parents to ban her from tidying. It was this experience that led her to develop the now-famous KonMari method, which urges people to focus on what they want to keep rather than what they want to throw away. Marie Kondo didn't waste any time turning her lifelong passion for tidying into a viable way to make a living. As a student of sociology at Tokyo Women's Christian University, Kondo established herself as an organization consultant among her peers, and it wasn't long before her Tokyo-based consulting business became so popular that Kondo had to waitlist potential clients. There's a lot of messy people out there, huh? <laughs> Her rising popularity inspired Kondo to write a helpful guide for those clients-to-be who wanted to learn more about her KonMari method. The organizational guru wrote the book in just three months, and The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up was published in December 2010. I know, that title needs to be decluttered right there. <laughs> it's a crazy title for someone trying to get rid of clutter. Marie Kondo's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up saw decent sales after its release, but its popularity skyrocketed in March 2011 after a 9.1 magnitude earthquake hit northeast of Tokyo, causing a devastating tsunami. Kondo's editor, Tomohiro Takahashi, explained how the unfortunate catastrophe helped propel the tidying expert to fame by forcing people to re-examine what truly brought them joy. Saying in an interview, the Japanese people suddenly had to ask themselves what was important in their lives. What was the true value of sentimental items? What was the meaning of the items they'd lost? What was the meaning of life? Marie Kondo's editor revealed to The New Yorker that even though Kondo was virtually unknown outside of her consulting business, he knew she was destined for stardom the moment he met her, saying, I thought to myself, she's going to be on TV and become famous. Obviously, his instincts were spot on. After writing her first book, Kondo became a TV regular in Japan. And once the life-changing magic of tidying up became a staple in American bookstores, Kondo soon became an international self-help superstar. If saving us all from becoming full-on hoarders becomes too great a burden to bear, it's comforting to know Marie Kondo has a shoulder to lean on in her husband, Takumi Kawahara. Married in 2012, Kawahara and Kondo have been husband and wife throughout the tidying expert's whirlwind journey of becoming a world-famous celebrity. According to Good Housekeeping, once the KonMari method surged in popularity, Kawahara left his job as a sales support specialist to work as his wife's manager, and now serves as CEO of KonMari Media. Getting rid of items that don't spark joy is easier said than done, even when it comes to that box of random cables you have stored away somewhere. This is insane. This is a cable for I don't know what. And this is my old MacBook that I just don't want anyone to find. If an item holds any sort of sentimental value, it can be especially hard to give it up. Even Marie Kondo has fallen victim to the trap of nostalgia. In The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, Kondo revealed that she can't bring herself to throw away an old green t-shirt she received at a 2005 expo, even though it sticks out like a sore thumb among the rest of her ultra-chic wardrobe. In a 2016 interview, the author admitted to holding on to a second sentimental item, a small stuffed seal. Kondo said, It was a gift from my father, and even though I'm an adult, it's something I can't part with. As impossible as it may seem, the lovable tidying guru has managed to spark anger among quite a few people. In The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, the author writes that she likes to keep her book collection to 30 volumes and under. Some bibliophiles have taken Kondo's words personally, assuming the tidying expert wants them to shrink their collection to just 30 books as well. But that's simply not the case. Kondo explained to IndieWire that she'd never suggest for book lovers to throw away their prized collections, saying, If the image of someone getting rid of books or having only a few books makes you angry, that should tell you how passionate you are about books, what's so clearly important in your life. 
That in itself is a very important benefit of this process. A cornerstone of the KonMari method is keeping only the items that spark joy for you. But what exactly is that spark of joy supposed to feel like? According to Marie Kondo, your body will have an immediate reaction to items that spark joy, a feeling the tidying expert describes with her trademark chime. In fall 2018, Kondo took to her blog to reveal the items that spark the most joy for her, listing cozy socks, notebooks, and crystals as some of her favorites. Kondo also urged readers to take time to make a list of their own, writing, Identifying the tiny details that spark joy will add a little more magic in your day. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.